August 1945, a secret prison. German generals learn about Hiroshima. Their reaction? Completely unexpected. But when they realized the truth, everything changed. What he said revealed Germany's darkest secret, and they knew they'd been beaten to the finish line because Germany had been working on the exact same weapon. What stopped them from creating it first would haunt them forever. One decision, one mistake, one moment that changed everything. The truth was captured on hidden microphones. What they said next revealed why Germany lost the race that could have changed history. The Hidden Prison, August 1945 a secret location in England. Ten German generals sat in a country house called Farm Hall. They didn't know the truth. Every room had hidden microphones. British intelligence listened to everything they said. These weren't ordinary prisoners. These men were Germany's top nuclear scientists and military minds. They'd been captured weeks earlier, moved in secret, kept away from the world. The Allies wanted to know one thing. How close was Germany to building the ultimate weapon? The generals talked freely. They felt safe. They believed their conversations were private. But every word was being recorded. Every whisper. Every debate. Then came August 6th, the day that changed everything. A British officer walked in with news news that would shock these men to their core. What happened next was captured on tape. The announcement. The officer made a simple announcement. America had dropped a new bomb on Japan. A city called Hiroshima was destroyed. One bomb, one city, gone. The German generals looked at each other. Some laughed. They thought it was a joke, allied propaganda, Impossible, they said. No single bomb could destroy an entire city. Werner Heisenberg was there, Germany's leading nuclear physicist. He shook his head. This can't be real, he told the others. We would have known about this. We would have heard about this. But the British officer insisted. It was true. The bomb used atomic power. Nuclear fission. The same science these Germans had been studying. The room went quiet. The laughter stopped. One by one, they began to understand. This wasn't propaganda. This was real. And if it was real, it meant something terrible, something they hadn't considered. America had beaten them to it. The confession. Hours passed. The generals gathered in small groups, whispering, arguing, trying to make sense of it. Otto Hahn sat alone, he was the scientist who discovered nuclear fission back in 1938. His work made the atomic bomb possible. Now he realized what his discovery had done. The microphones captured his voice. I feel personally responsible, he said quietly. Hundreds of thousands of people killed. Because of my work. The other scientists tried to comfort him. This wasn't your fault, they told him. But Han couldn't accept it. He talked about ending his life. The weight was too much. Then came the bigger question, the one that haunted all of them. Why didn't Germany build it first? They had the science. They had the researchers. They had years to work on it. So what went wrong? The answer would reveal everything. The German program revealed. The recordings captured their debate. Germany had a nuclear program. It started in 1939, right at the beginning of the war. They called it the Uranverein, the Uranium Club. Scientists across Germany worked in secret, splitting atoms, building reactors, testing theories. They knew it was possible, a bomb powered by atomic energy. Heisenberg led the research. He understood the physics, but something stopped them. Resources became scarce. Funding dried up. Hitler's attention turned elsewhere. He wanted rockets. He wanted tanks. He wanted quick victories. A nuclear bomb would take years. 
The military didn't believe in it. Too complicated, they said. Too expensive. Too uncertain. So the program slowed down. Scientists were moved to other projects. Labs were closed. By 1942, the dream was basically dead. Now these generals sat in Farm Hall, listening to news of America's success. And they realized their greatest mistake. The technical debate. Heisenberg stood at a chalkboard. The other scientists gathered around. He started doing calculations, trying to figure out how America did it. The microphones recorded everything. Their equations, their theories, their arguments. How much uranium would you need? Heisenberg asked. How would you enrich it? How would you trigger the explosion? The scientists debated through the night. Some said it required tons of uranium. Others disagreed, maybe only kilograms, they suggested. They worked through the math. Slowly the picture became clear. America must have used uranium-235, the rare isotope, or maybe plutonium, a man-made element. Either way, it required massive facilities, industrial-scale production, something Germany never achieved. But here's what shocked them most. The Americans did it in secret. Massive factories, thousands of workers, billions of dollars spent, and Germany never knew it was happening. The Moral Reckoning The conversation shifted, away from science, towards something darker. Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker spoke up. Maybe it's good we didn't succeed, he said. The other generals turned to look at him. What do you mean? they asked. Von Weisswecker chose his words carefully. If we had built it first, Hitler would have used it. No hesitation, no debate. Cities would have been erased, millions dead. The room silent again. They all knew it was true. Hitler wouldn't have dropped one bomb as a warning. He would have dropped dozens. London, Moscow, New York, anywhere he could reach. Some generals tried to defend themselves. We were just scientists, they said. We were following orders. We didn't make political decisions. But the recordings tell a different story. These men knew what they were building. They knew what it could do. And part of them was relieved they failed. The Final Realization Days passed at Farm Hall. More news arrived. A second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Japan prepared to surrender. The war was ending, and these German generals understood their place in history. They'd lost the most important race of the century. Not a race for land, not a race for resources. A race for ultimate power. The atomic bomb changed warfare forever. The country that built it first would dominate the world. America won that race. Germany didn't. The recordings captured their final conversations. Some talked about what went wrong, poor leadership, bad decisions, lack of resources. Others talked about fate. Maybe we were meant to lose, one general said. Maybe the world is safer this way. But one question remained, the question that haunted them, the question recorded on those secret microphones. Could Germany have actually built it? The truth revealed. Here's what history now shows us. Germany was never truly close. Not really. Their program was years behind. They lacked the industrial power. They lacked the resources. They lacked the focus. America spent $2 billion, built entire cities in secret, employed over 130,000 people. Germany couldn't match that especially during wartime. But the German generals didn't know this yet. Sitting in farm hall, they believed they'd been close. They believed one different decision could have changed everything. The microphones captured their regret, their confusion, their relief. These recordings stayed secret for decades. Finally released in 1992, they showed the world something important how the men who tried to build Hitler's atomic bomb reacted when they learned they had lost. Their words preserved forever, 
a reminder of the race that shaped our world and the terrible weapon that ended one war but started an arms race that continues still today. The Hiroshima atomic bomb changed warfare forever. German generals' reaction to Hiroshima revealed their shock and regret. World War II atomic bombings at Hiroshima and Nagasaki ended the conflict but started something new. The atomic bomb in reaction from German military leaders showed how close they came. The atomic bomb impact shaped our world. Reactions to Hiroshima bombing proved one truth. Whoever controlled this power controlled the future. The Hiroshima-Nagasaki aftermath still echoes today.